Hey everybody, this video brings me and Mike back out to Fency's Flea Market. And of course, the reason why we are at Fency's Flea Market is to check out the video game Movie Dome. And I've got a bunch of stuff to trade in here, all sorts of all sorts of movies that needed to be traded in. This is actually stuff I I had that I was gonna list and sell at one point, and I just realized I literally have like five tubs full of stuff that I had. Well, let me phrase this five bins full of movies I have to list yet and, and, and then like 20 more tubs full of like all kinds of collectibles and stuff I'm never gonna get around to listing all this stuff so I figured you know what it's time to just start bringing some of this stuff in as as trade in Pam actually bought some stuff off me as well I have in there so all right you have anything on hold no nope. I think I do I think I have some stuff on hold plus there's all that oh I have all that anime still on hold you know what <laughs> this may have already been spoken for the, the store credit I get from this might be spent today already with that anime oh yeah oh, oh boy fun so all right well I'm gonna go break my back now by carrying all this in there, but then I feel even worse for Pam because she's gotta actually go through it all. I don't know what's worse, the fact that I just broke my back lifting that entire tub of movies. That was really, really heavy. Or the fact that Pamela is not here. We, we don't know where she is, which means we have the run of the store. We have it all to ourselves. Everything here, one dollar a piece. Come grab everything you want. That's what, we're, that's what we're saying. I don't know, I'm so, I'm so, I'm, I'm out of breath. I'm still freezing from being outside. We just got back from Jake's Flea Market. If you guys haven't seen that video, go go check that one out. It was very, very cold that I still cannot feel my toes. I was gonna change my jacket. I was like, we're coming inside. I don't need my heavy jacket. But no, I just kept it on because I'm I'm still completely 100% frozen. I don't necessarily, necessarily see anything new in the case. I think Pam said she really didn't get much in this week, unfortunately, as far as like 4Ks and like newer movies are concerned. But she said next week, she's getting in all kinds of stuff. So I'm sure next week is when I'm gonna be going broke and um, getting all kinds of, of new movies. There's all kinds of new stuff that's, that's coming out. I think Clerks 3 came out and stuff like that. And then of course there's all that anime I have on hold and other stuff I know I have on hold. And um, yeah, getting my store credit's probably gonna be gone. Pamela, she has returned and I have a whole bunch of stuff for you to go through. Unfortunately, sorry about that. But I have, I have all the anime still on hold and I think you have some other things on hold for me as well so I'm gonna have to go through all of that so again so sorry about that anything new in the, in the cases at all a couple, couple things maybe I saw your case over there was a little like uh had you, had you gone through it through it clean clean that a bit uh so you saw you there was a lot of stuff in there like last week you sold all that stuff wow that's pretty awesome so Pamela's selling out of stuff quickly all right, well, in that case, I better start looking before somebody comes in here and buys everything up. So yeah, last week, this case was completely filled. It was overflowing. It was, it was double road. You couldn't see the stuff in the back. There was so much stuff in here, but apparently somebody came and just bought her out. They opened up the case and just started buying all kinds of stuff. That is awesome. I am so happy Pamela has been making some pretty good sales. I'm seeing some stuff I'm kind of interested in, but again, if it's just stuff I'm kind of interested in, I should probably pass. I don't necessarily see anything I need to pick up, but if you guys see something, let Pamela know. Contact her. It's $5 flat rate domestic shipping for one thing or 1,000 things. If you want something, it's only gonna cost you $5 to have Pamela ship it to you. And if you do see something, you might wanna jump on it really fast because apparently this stuff is selling. That is awesome. What are you saying about the Godzillas though? You, buying nobody's buying Mike's upset because nobody is buying <laughs> the Godzillas. So somebody, somebody, please, some some collector out there, buy the King Kong, buy the Godzillas, buy Son of Kong, buy all the the creature feature and monster things. Make Mike a happy person. Well, you can put your glasses. Put in. Look at look at that. Oh, whoa, L ladies, look look away. Oh, Mike, Mike's in trouble now. So this is now what the third, fourth, fifth month in a row that I've been saying that I just want to go through all this stuff. And one of these days I'm going to have to do that. I still, like I said, need to catalog everything I have in my collection. I, I kind of sort of have everything cataloged, but not completely. There's definitely a lot of stuff I don't have, unfortunately, cataloged on my uh, on my website, in my collection. So I, I need to do that and then go through it all and go through all of Pam's stuff here and figure out what it is I need to upgrade. Because I know there's a lot of stuff I only have on DVD and I don't have on Blu-ray yet. And I definitely want to start really focusing on upgrading stuff from DVD to Blu-ray. It's just, again, what do I have? What do I don't have? At this point, I'm not entirely sure. There are some things I can definitely tell right away that I only have on DVD. I mean, I'm not necessarily seeing any of that stuff, but sometimes I know, sometimes I don't. And at this point, I'm thinking with all this stuff here, it's all stuff I... I think I maybe maybe already have on Blu-ray, but 
I mean, most likely, I probably need to upgrade some of this stuff. All right, so this is not the anime. Again, I still have a ton of anime on hold for me that I'm going to have to go through at some point once Pamela is done going through all the stuff I brought in. But these I'm definitely picking up. She's got uh, Daredevil, the director's cut, which I already have in a multi-feature set. I believe it's with the Electra director's cut and also League of Extra Extraordinary Gentlemen. I want to split that set up, so I need that. Still need to get the other two yet. Aviator, which I believe is the last Leonardo DiCaprio movie I have to split up a set, so that's pretty awesome. I love this movie too, by the way. It is so good. I need to rewatch that. And Troop Beverly Hills, which I have in a like a 90s multi-feature set, which again, I want to split up. So definitely grabbing all of those. So that's a little bit of store credit gone, but uh, yeah, it's mostly going to be all the anime that... Is that like all my stuff back there, Pam? Yep. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of anime. I don't know if I'm buying all of it today, but uh, yeah, I might be picking up a good chunk of that. Oh my gosh, I actually can't believe it. I'm gonna have $10 store credit left over. That is unless I go through all this stuff and find something for $10 I want, which I may do, but all right. So I'm grabbing all the anime, all the rest of the anime I have on hold, grabbing the um, Kai, Kai, Kaiyo Kara, what, what, I don't know what this is. And that sound is not a loose disc inside. That's like a film cell that's inside here. But anyway, that's cool. So 70 bucks for all that. And then I'm grabbing this Fa Fener. Yeah, again, I don't know what this stuff is, but I'm grabbing it all. I don't care. Some Ghost in the Shell. Okay, I know what Ghost in the Shell is. That's awesome. Grabbing those. Um, Outlaw Star, which I need to complete my set. I think I have like one or two of these. I don't have the full series. And Ah My God is grabbing all of those as well. So after uh, my store credit, with, in, including this stuff here as well, I still have $10 left over. Pam, what should I buy? I don't should, know. should I buy? I don't know. I feel like I should get something. You haven't gotten in the new, um, what is it? Uh, not Reservoir Dogs. Um, what's the other movie uh, that just came out in 4K that, of, of Quentin Tarantino's? Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction just came out in 4K. That I may be getting next week. Oh, all right. So maybe, maybe, I could just keep my store credit for for next week maybe and get things like uh pulp fiction i don't i don't know i kind of just I'm, I'm weird i'm just like i want to spend my ten dollars now i'm i'm like a little kid i just i can't save money i gotta just blow it all i'm going through pamela's case right now and i'm finding two movies that i'm kind of interested in carla's song and um fatherland these are twilight times releases i'm actually not familiar with either of these movies i want to say i've heard of carla's song but i I've never actually seen this. So leave comments down below. Are these titles I should be picking up? They're only $12 a piece. So brand new factory sealed. If you've seen either of these, if any of them are good, definitely let me know because I might have to have these put on hold for me. I'm not, in, again, I'm not sure. I just, I gotta be good. Even though I have the store credits, if I, if it's a movie I'm not really all that familiar with and not all that sure about wanting to pick up, I need to just put it back and just walk away because I have such a huge pile of stuff I have to watch as it is. I don't need to be getting more stuff I'm not sure about. But if you guys say I should pick these up, then I don't know. Maybe then I will. Pamela also has Running Man on Blu-ray, which is also really tempting. Not one of my favorite Schwarzenegger films, but still a really good Schwarzenegger film that I do enjoy. However, I have the two-disc special edition DVD at home that has a boatload of bonus features on it. This literally has just one new commentary, which is interesting and intriguing, but... If I bought this, I would have to keep my DVD copy as well for all the bonus features. So I, I don't know. Do I do I need this movie in high definition? It is a an Olive Films release, so I I'm I'm tempted by this. I kind of want to do some upgrading. I know I I know I just recently said I I, I literally just said I want to do some upgrading. I, I could be upgrading this. I, I don't know. It's just it's a Schwarzenegger film to Blu-ray. Doesn't sound like a bad idea. She said she would just do ten on this, so I'm thinking. Maybe I should I should spend the, my my last ten dollars on the Running Man. I'll leave it up to Mike. Mike, should I buy the Running Man? Can can you wait? If you can do the Running Man, I'll buy the Running Man. Do it. Do it. <laughs> you know what? You that that does not count. That was that was terrible. But just for making me laugh alone. All right, I'm I'm gonna buy the Running Man. So Mike's picking up a title, though. I I mean I. Yes. I kind of sort of feel bad, but at the same time, I feel like I showed this to you already. So I, I looked I, at my, my text. I didn't see no, Oh, so maybe I forgot to show this to you. So, all right, this is actually one I'm trading in. It's um, Mysterious it's Island. Island. Some, some Jules Verne there. That's that's pretty awesome. So, I don't know. I thought I showed that to you, but apparently I, I didn't. That's so, this, right. this is one of the things I traded in. That's awesome. That's cool. So, all right, so what, some dinosaurs or dragons or yeah, it's, yeah, it's like all kinds of different creatures, creatures and monsters yeah. and stuff. All right, so you're picking that up because you need yeah. that. So, all right, Mike's, Mike's grabbing something as well from... Me from from me to Pam to, me. to Mike. So my my bad. My I'm sorry. I apologize. Whatever. At least hey, hey, we're all we're all making out here. So it's it's all good, right? 
Don't hate me. All right, so now that my other $10 has been spent, my store credit is officially gone. I'm, you know what? It, it, even though I did spend all my store credit, I'm actually really happy that I was able to get everything I had on hold, plus a bonus title as well. So that was that was pretty awesome. Definitely happy about that. All my all the anime, I've I've officially gone through all the anime. I picked up everything I want until like next week when you when you're saying, hey, I got in like forty thousand more anime titles, and then I have to go through all those, and I'm gonna be picking up more anime. It's 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 gonna happen. So anyway, I got some cool stuff. You got something awesome again from. From you Me sort of, yeah, my, again, my, my bad this about that. Life. But if you guys are looking for something, definitely hit up Pam. I'll put links to her my YouTube channel, her Instagram, her uh, Facebook page down below. Like I was saying before, if you guys want to buy something, if you, see, if you see anything here you're interested in or there's something you're looking for, contact Pam. She will ship it to you domestically. $5, whether it's one thing or 1,000 things, $5 domestic shipping. Pretty awesome deal definitely hit her up but all right guys with that we are done so as always guys thank you so much for checking out this video be sure to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and of course check down below for links to patreon spreadshirt and the cinema sickness story it came from cinema sickness also check down below for my second channel retro rest stop for fun at daily adventures and check down below for a link to sharks and monsters fan on instagram and also like i said check down below for a link to all the pamela stuff as well all right i'll see you guys next video thanks for watching guys have a good one bye